Alright, so now a new one. Oh, say go to this. Alright, so this says, what is another way of writing two ninths? Um, so we should remember how to change uh, fractions into decimals. So remember, you just put the nine on the outside two, and you bring down your decimals. So you gotta ask yourself, how many times is nine going to two? That's twice. Nine into twenty, again, twice. All right, now you should see a pattern. Every time you bring that down. So this is just going to be 0.2 repeating on forever. So your answer would be that one right there. Let's take a look at this new stuff. We got irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a ratio. So you cannot write a rational, an irrational number as a fraction. So all non-repeating and non-terminating decimals are all irrational numbers. So all that basically means is any number that goes on forever and doesn't have a pattern. So we already talked about that one in our last example. That was irrational because it didn't have a pattern. Okay, same thing here. Doesn't have a pattern. All right. Also, if we take a look at this, we should know that pi, okay, that's our symbol for pi, is an irrational number because that's a decimal that goes on forever and it never repeats itself. Because as a decimal, pi is equal to 3.1415926540 and so on. So we should always know if we ever see pi, we know that that's an irrational number. Alright, so determining the following number is rational or irrational. So you gotta look at this. You got 6, 7, 6, 6, 7, 6, 6, 6, 7. So in order for this to be a pattern, it would have to go 6, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7. So this does not have a pattern to it, so it would be irrational. All right, this one's asking you which one of these is irrational. Um, so this one looks like it repeats, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5. Um, we have the square root of 35. and the square root of 200. And we can eliminate this one right here because it goes 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Alright, so we should know that the square root of 35 is equal to 5.9160797. So we're not sure if that one repeats. And we should know that the square root of 200 is 14.142135. Alright, so since both of these are decimals that go on forever and don't repeat, they would both be irrational numbers. Alright, and then the next one says which number or numbers are rational? So these are ones um, that have a decimal that can stop or uh, go on forever and repeat. So zero, we know that one is good and we have a decimal. Negative 13, because that's an integer. We know all integers are rational. We got five nine, five nine, five nine, so that repeats. And we got square root of one. Remember square root just means what times itself equals one. So if I was to draw a box, it has one unit in it. Okay, so this is one down, one across. So that means square root of one is one, because one times one equals one. And so since 1 is rational, because that's an, uh, a natural number, we know all naturals are rational. So all four of those are all rational numbers. Let's so look again over here. Um, since an irrational number is the opposite of a rational, we're going to have to put that all by itself over here. So irrational numbers. So rational numbers are all by itself. So if something's irrational, um, it's not rational or an injured whole or natural. And finally, our last one here is going to be a real number. And a real number contains all rational and irrational numbers. So basically, in regular terms, all that means it's all positive and all negative numbers that terminate and go on forever. So that one should be pretty easy. If you ever see any number, okay, it's everything. And so it's a real number. So every single number, no matter what it is, is a real number.
Alright, so it's like this. So now what we want to do here is we want to group these things where they best go. So they can go in more than one place. So negative 8.2, we know that that's a real number because that's a number. So every single thing up here will be um, a real number. But negative 8.2 can also be a rational number because it's a decimal that stops. Okay, 22 over 7. Okay, that's a fraction, so both of those um, are integers, so we know that that's the rational. Okay, it's a number, so it's a real. Okay, a number, a decimal that terminates. A rational number. Okay, and it's a number. Okay, 8. Okay, 8's a counting number. Okay, so it's an 8. So you should know that if it's a natural number, it's everything but an, inter an irrational number. So it's all of these. Okay, we got 1,000. So that's going to be every one of these again. So there you go. So I did the first spot. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video um, and think to yourself, where would the rest of these go? So when, after you finish that, go ahead and come back and uh, we'll go ahead and continue. All right, welcome back. So we got 2.1453. So that's something that goes on forever, doesn't repeat. So we know that that's an irrational number. Okay, and since it's a number, we know that it's a real number. All right, we got four over three. Four over three, that's a fraction. Both of those are integers. So we know that that is a rational number. If it's something, we know we can put it right here. Put it over here. All right, we got 97.1. Okay, decimal that stops. So we know that it's rational. All right, square root of 200. We had done that one a little earlier. And we found out that that was an irrational number. Okay, I'm going to stick that down here. All right, and this one we got something that goes on forever, doesn't repeat. Um, so that's an irrational number. And so we'll also stick it right there with the real. Okay. 